Okay, so for today's project, we're going to make a huck fin raft. And to do that, we're going to start off with just a little uh, hunk of a, of a log. All right, it's about, you can go anywhere between six and eight inches, depending on how big you want it. And just like that treasure box project, what we're going to do is we're going to use the hatchet to split it. All right, I want to mark right in the middle. I'm just going to split it right down the middle, just like that. Now I'm going to take a piece, half of it, and I'm going to cut the back off. This will give you a bunch of rafts if you have a long log. This is our raft bottom. What I've done is took a, a quarter inch dowel and measured it to the length of the raft. And then I took a 3 16 inch dowel and did the same thing. All right, so this is going to be the cross piece and the bottom um, to the post. All right, so for the sail, I just took a, a liner, a curtain liner, and we used a liquid stitch just to, uh, to fold this over using a liquid stitch. But you, this is a good opportunity to teach kids how to sew as well if you want to do that. All right, so what we're doing here is we're tying the sail onto the cross piece. And I'm just using little strips of individual strips of hemp string and I've used a hole punch to make holes it just makes it a lot easier to use a hole punch if you don't have a hole punch you could just use a large nail or something like that um, <clears throat> but I you can see I make these holes with the hole punch I only have two down at the bottom I'll show you why in a second but on the top I put them all the way across got sawdust all over but that's okay it's a mm -hmm. hook fin raft all right so it really does look cool. It's like a, an authentic raft, right? So, I'll put this last piece on here. And Michael's sister Casey's here. She's a little older, so she can use those fingers of her. She, um, Casey actually helps teach my class. Right, so, now what we can do is um, we're going to take this bottom piece here and we're going to put it in to our hole. We're going to have to get a little glue first. I didn't bring any glue out, so we'll, I'll just show you this to you, and then we'll get some glue. All right? And you can see it's already working with the wind blowing. All right. <clears throat> now, Casey's going to take a couple of pieces of this hemp. If I can find an end here. All right, we're going to cut this case, and then you're going to go ahead and thread a piece like this on this side, and then another piece on this side. And Michael and I are going to get to work on changing the drill bit, because we have something to do back here. All right, so we've got this... Um, Sail pretty much set here. Casey's got these tied on, and what I just did is I just cut a couple of really small, about one inch, one inch and a quarter uh, pieces of dowel, and uh, this is the quarter inch dowel, the same as the, the thicker one. And I'm just taking this real skinny drill bit, and I'm just drilling a little hole towards the top. All right, make sure it's good and cleaned out. So it's easy to thread. Because we're going to take a string through here. So now what we'll do is take a little bit of glue. We also drilled a couple of holes in here, quarter inch holes towards the back. And now all we have to do is stick our dowel in. Now Casey's going to go ahead and take her time and try to thread this string in, just one side of the string through these holes on both sides, All right, and we're going to tie that. All right, so one of the things that you noticed, and if you put that camera down here in the middle, you can see I, we put a hole right in the middle, and Casey tied another string, and then all we have to do is lift this up, and we can adjust the height of our sail. All right, if it's a real windy day, we can bring it up high. If it's not that windy, we can bring it all the way down. So just for today, so you can see, we're going to pull this up. And then all you have to do is just wrap it around the top a few times. All right, put a little half knot in it. And that's it. And then we can just easily untie it uh, to, to readjust it. Now go ahead and cut this. All right, that's all you have to do. Um, on the bottom, it's the same thing. We can adjust it tight. All right, we can leave it loose. All right, we can keep wrapping it. This is just a half knot. Keep wrapping it. Make it really loose, let it all the way down, just depending on the wind. All right, so we're going to leave it up right now so you can see what Michael's going to do. We've cut a couple of pieces of uh, these little craft boards that you can get. They're really cheap. I'm going to put a little glue on them. Come on, buddy. All right, we just put a little glue on it. 
All right, go ahead. You're going to stick it on there. Go ahead. He's going to put one right back here. Go ahead. Right back here. All right, watch that string. Oh, yeah. Cute.